this is a, a difficult question to, uh, to answer. And I didn't expect this question. <laughs> That's a difficult question because there's each one of the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes with its own uh, with its own little specialty. Can it be all of them? Or just one name? My favorite name of Allah is Al Qafur, and it means the most forgiving. And I love that name of Allah because it shows how much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you as a creation and how much He's willing to forgive you even if you commit sin. And we all know that we're imperfect as human beings and we all do foolish things that we're not supposed to, but to know that our Creator, no matter what, we can always return to Him and He'll always forgive us is absolutely astonishing. And I feel like sometimes, even when we're not deserving of it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still forgives us. You know, if you hurt your brother, if you hurt, you know, a friend or something, they might not always um, forgive you. Or if they do forgive you, you know, there'll always be that, you know, that spot where they're just taken back by you if you did a mistake. But God, you know, He's the all-merciful, all-forgiving. Um, no matter what you do, you always, you know, can go back to Him and just repent. And, you know, it's very comforting to have that. My favorite name that comes right away to my mind is al Karim. Uh, SubhanAllah, I feel like this name is... Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is truly the most generous. I, I feel it's a name that I feel it every minute of my life. Do you think you can try to be generous and you find what Allah gives you back is much, much more? Al-Mujib is the answer because it goes into a lot of things, Rahman and Tawakkul. You need to rely upon Allah and truly Allah is the only one who can really be relied upon. You know, there are times when you have, as you mentioned, close friends and whatnot, and really they're your friends, but situations always arise. But with Allah, the one who's all powerful, the one who is great, these names that always exalt him, they are befitting to him because he will never fall back on you. You know, they're all very beautiful. Al Ghani, uh, my Sheikh Mawlana Qamru Zaman from Ilahabad in India. Uh, in every few sentences, he says, Allahu Ghani, Allahu Ghani, that we are always in need of Allah and he is free of our need. He doesn't need us. We need him. Uh, my favorite name is Ar Razak because with that Allah provides everything for us and blesses us with all the good things in life. So it's always good to remember that He's the one, He's the source of um, our blessings and what we have in life. Al Ahad, because it doesn't say Wahid. Wahid means one, but there could be other ones. That when you talk about Al Ahad, Qul Wallahu Ahad, they mean the one and only. And Al Wadud is also the name when it has to do with something which is caring, loving, and very close to uh, uh, the people. My favorite name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al Muhayman. It means the protector. Um, it, it's, the reason is, is because one of the, every time I feel like I'm down or I'm like beaten to the floor, I just can't get up, back up, I know Allah's protecting me. I know Allah's watching over me. He's the protector, the Almighty protector. So. It's, it's just nice like to have someone watching your back 24 hours a day. I think it's Al-Jabbar, which means like uh, uh, the majesty and at the same time the uh, compassionate and giving comfort to us. So when I feel like broken, I say, Ya Jabbar. Al-Malik, the king, knowing that he is a king and he's the one who created me and he's the one who has written me from the time I was in my mom's womb until right now, what's gonna happen every second of every minute, knowing that he's up there and the fact that I could always count on him and I can always remember him. As salam. Is there a reason why? Because that's what Islam comes from. And that's what Salam comes from. And uh, it is, it's just a beautiful name. Um, my favorite name would have to be Al Hakim. Um, you know, as a student, there are times where you just get really stressed out with exams and um, sometimes you may ask yourself, like, why is this happening? But, you know, remembering Allah and the trials and tribulations that He gives us, you remember that it's all for a reason. I don't know that many, but uh, the one that I just learned, it's al Wakil, and it's the trusty. The reason is, uh, usually you could depend on your friends or anyone, but at times of difficulty and at times of, you know, when you really need help, you know, you can always trust Allah because Allah is always there. Uh, my favorite name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Ar-Rahim, uh, which is the most merciful. Um, because I feel like 
it's such a like it's such a beautiful thing that Allah has so much mercy for you, even more than your parents, which you feel like they have the most mercy for you, but He has more and it's just unimaginable. Ar-Rahim is extremely deep, the most merciful, the most gracious, depending on how you translate that. And it's much more than just mercy and graciousness. It's, I, I personally feel that, you know, whatever happens, if I can turn back to Ar-Rahim, I'll be fine. He is Ar-Rahim. And therefore, I can never, ever lose hope. Um, like when you're dealing with someone and we're all humans when we deal with someone no matter how much they can forgive you even if it's a parent no matter how much you wrong them and they forgive you it doesn't uh, compare to the to the forgiveness and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so my favorite name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Ar-Rahman because everything comes out of his mercy right everything even hardship comes out of his mercy so it encompasses everything alhamdulillah this is Ar-Rahman uh, Arab man, and, and it almost brings me to tears whenever I hear it. But my favorite name of Allah is actually Allah. And uh, you asked why as well, right? So the, the why Allah is, is, is my, uh, my favorite name is because the name Allah actually encompasses all of the other names. And it is a, it is a name that is unique to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and distinguishable and, and so so it kind of highlights this aspect kind of highlights the distinctness and oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now all of the other attributes of course all of the other names are of extreme importance but when you when you think about Allah that gives you what I like about this name is that gives you also the uh, not the right, that's not the, that gives you the opportunity while thinking about this name Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to think about any of the other names. Uh, and, 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 and so it kind of, uh, so to speak, blows your mind.